What is up, my good people? My name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Omori. In the last episode, we ended up becoming lost here in the Pyrefly Forest, finally facing our fears of spiders, and also learning that this world may end, because this world isn't real. This world is just a dream. That's the unfortunate thing. But let's not get too caught up in all the sad mojo and whatnot the real question is how the fuck do i get out <laughs> how the hell do i leave do i just go back uh okay wait a minute wait a minute if i go back there i'm not gonna be stuck in that loop right no i can't even go back out Bruh. This lamp was lit recently. Bruh. Alright. So, this should be the place of the spiders. So, as much as I hate that I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to need these spiders to take me back home. Sorry, hero. Not sorry. You should have, uh, you should have manned up. should have manned up. Alright. So I like how no one has ever, no one in Omori's group even flinched that the lost pirate guys were and whatnot. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, no, Ar Aubrey's still not gonna fix that. Ooh, baby. Is it time for round two? Is it really time for round two? Uh, what can we give, what can we give to Hero? I know I gave him the faux tail, but if he's still going to be the slow piece of shit he is, I might as well just give him the cell phone. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. You are about to get the mocking of a lifetime. You do that, you do that. Flex. And, uh... Damn, I, I don't I don't know what to do over here. All right, well let's just go with that. <gasps> Flex, ooh baby. Okay, next time I should definitely not do that. Right in the heart. Just gonna do this real quickly so Aubrey can attempt to heal up just a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Uh 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 uh. Let's mock this guy again. Alright. Let's do a little bit of a headbutt. Let's ricochet! Ricochet! And snack time. Yeah, I think snack time is just better. Boom! 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 Alright, just a little bit more mocking. And... <laughs> snack time for everyone! Let's go! Although I kind of wish it did more, but you know what? I not gonna not gonna complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. All right, let's let's go, baby. That still still doesn't still doesn't help the fact that Hero is 650 XP below both Aubrey and Kel. Still sucks. I'm still pissed off about that to this day. Okay, considering that we have all the all the trail tracks, all the rail tracks back together, and considering that we need some way to go through that barrier, this has to work. This just has to work. Otherwise, I would have no clue as to where to go from here on out. Hi, Mari. Oh shit, we're getting faster. We're getting faster. Faster, faster. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, baby, let's go. Hello, what do we have over here? A castle? Would you look at that? Alright, we made it out. Made it out through the other side. Intact. And would you look at that. It's my buddy Pluto. Uh, Basil, are you here? Basil! Where are you? 
Hmm. It doesn't look like Basil's here either. Hey! Look! It's Mari! 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 Oh, hello everyone! You all made it through the forest! I'm so proud of you! Mari... I... I was so scared! Aww... Hero... This is kind of embarrassing! Uh, it sounds like these I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> oh, glad to see you're here too, Mari. I would very much like me a good old save. Alright, my good sir. I have for you something that you might really like to buy from me if I can find it. Wow, really? A hundred! A hundred! Fine. A hundred clams. I'll definitely also sell the gold watch too. To hell with this! But what else do you have for me over here? Nachos, popcorn, tasty sodas. Yeah, more tasty sodas? How much? How much you sell them for? A hundred fifty? My God! Thank God I actually bought I bought all those tasty stuff from the vending machines. Um, sorry. I know you hate window shoppers. Yeah, but right now your your goods don't really your goods don't look like they're really for me right now. All right, Pluto. Take me away. Now you might be wondering where do I want Pluto to take me? Easy. Back to the Firefly Forest. Just to make sure that he remembers this place. In the event that I ever need to get back. Thank you very much, Pluto. Alright, what do we have more over here? Who are you? My guy. Are you okay? Do you need some, like, water or something? My lord, he looks tried out. Uh, maybe dry that's not the right word to say? What's going on? What's up with all these sprout moles? Looks like a vampire sucked them all off. Oh my god. Uh... Hello? Oh lord, what is that? What is... Uh... King Crawler? The post angry great red loses damage. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, 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 uh. No, not pep talk, what am I thinking? Attacking ignores defense and then reduces the force. Okay, okay, do that, do that going to have to annoy him and then oh god what do I do with you hero toy good good idea good idea good idea uh checks lower his speed lower his speed I'm just gonna keep all of this for now actually actually what I okay that's not that bad that's not that bad what I will do what I will do is a sprout mole peeled? Really? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's just mock him a little more. And uh, power hit him once more. And then... Can I, can I flex again? Can I flex again? Let me see, let me see how that works out. Alright. More Jax! More Jax! Flex! Okay, I think I think that's enough. I think that's enough defense fallen and enough attack fallen. 
More Jax! More Jax! Ouch. Oh my god. He's gonna heal, isn't he? No! Bro! Bro! Alright, 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 buddy, alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Uh, over here. Yes, we need to annoy the shit out of him. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. We're just going to do this real quickly. Teehee. Both of them are going to be angry. And their attacks have risen. Just trust me on this. Trust me on this. Ow. Ow. Uh. Uh, da 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 da. Fuck it, let's just do, let's just do a mock again. Alright, Aubrey, headbutt. Alright, <laughs> ricochet. Can we get a bit of snack time, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh, baby! Oh, wow, he's just dead. He's just dead. <laughs> he's just dead. He's just dead like that. Mood wrecker. Oh, would you look at that? I wonder why my hero didn't fucking level up. <laughs> oh, come on, hero. You're almost at level 17. <laughs> oh my god, but that crawler. Crawler. Like, look at this crawler. What I didn't also realize was that his, his whole body is just sprout moles. Oh my lord. That looks disgusting. But I need to heal up a bit more. I need my juice back. All right, everyone is sauced up once again. So what do we have over here? If I can fucking go through it. Okay. Sprout Mole Village. I just see that Mari is already there. Chilling down there way before I even managed to get down here. Also looks like Sweetheart's Manor. They were full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. Yep, that's what I thought. Ah, hello strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know the show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness, oh the drama. This is going to be so fun! I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could early here. Please, hero! We should at least check it out! Please, 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 please! Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem. If I may have your show tickets, please! Yes, yes! Of course, Mr. Sprout Molesler! We have our tickets right here! Jesus, again with the pockets, people! Here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole! Oh. Oh my! I can't believe my eyes! These are front row tickets! You you almost have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Alright, let us get started a bit. Before we do that, some juicy tomatoes. Thank you very much. Mari, is there any advice you want to give me and the gang before I leave? These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Cool. Tofu. Tastes just like cardboard according to the game. I still have no fucking clue what it tastes like, but you know what? At this point, if it says it tastes like cardboard, I'll just believe it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the theater. 
My god, this is a lot of sprout moles. Excuse me! Excuse me! Well, look at this huge stage! It's just amazing as I imagined! Uh, let's take our seats! It looks like the show's about to start! Alright. Sure, I'm, re I'm ready to take up my front row seats. Ladies and sprout moles alike. Oh, we got MC. MC Mike over here! Ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts! Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout! Oh, oh! He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. That's not good. If I don't know if you guys remember it, but we pummeled the old sprout. May he rest in peace. Uh oh, and now on to the show. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible, eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three no very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Contestant 1 is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He is coming in at 3 feet tall. His favorite food is tofu, he has a huge collection of plastic flamingos, and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for Contestant 1! Round of applause, round of applause indeed. Round of applause. Contestant number 2 is, yup, you guessed it, also a local of Sprout Mall Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at 3 feet and 1 whole inch! His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekend rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant two. All right, you know, gotta give the courtesy clap, courtesy clap, courtesy clap. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. Oh, come on. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She excudes grace. She truly has the most pulcher, pulcher, I'm going to have to search this up later. The most pulcheridunious face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She is all that is amazing and wonderful. And she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweetheart. Um. Snaily? Oh no! There's a blackout! Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next! Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get the power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Well... Maybe we should look around just in case. Cool! Alright, this show is a bust! Let's get out of here! Actually, I should... 
Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What do these guys have to say? <gasps> Alright, I guess I can't go up backstage. Because they're all freaking the fuck out. Alright, I guess... These, all of these sprout moles eat glue. What, 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 do I ex what did I expect? This is... These are sprout moles, after all. Alright, alright, alright. What's up, guy? Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Uh, let's see here. Hey, buddy. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Uh, could you help me out? My brother lives in Sprout Mole Colony, another world. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Of course. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here, young. Hey, don't worry, my G. Make sure it gets to him safely. I got you. I got you. I don't fail. I don't falter. Alright, so I have to look for a backup generator, eh? Also, library. Bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. Come on now. This wall is nice and cold. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god! Even the teachers have no fucking idea of what they're doing. And if, if anyone ever asks you if we're still be friends after graduate, in my answer, in my... What the? <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even realize what... What were you saying again? Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. The universal S. I see. Anyways, as I was saying, you should always try to look forward to, you know, keeping your friends after graduation and whatnot. I, w I would do the same. We are two. We are one. We are twan. Okay. Uh... Ah yes, welcome! You must be here you must be here to learn about the best culinary feat since sliced bread. Tofu! Que magnifique! Here's your tofu trivia for today. Smoked tofu is a great alternative for meat. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Ho ho! Well, what other things do you have about tofu? Alright, smoked tofu is a good alternative. Never had it. How dare you speak such blasphemy! It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold like room temperature. I don't know. Lukewarm? Ew! Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard! Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Well, hero, your idea is below. Would you look at that? Hello, sir and madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It'll cost you exactly one clam. Thank you for your patronage. The more tofu, the better, right? Never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of a plenty of sticky situations with tofu. Look at me! I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? I mean, you got a le you got a lot of leaves. I'll give you that. Um, let's go down here. Joke! Joke! Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Excellent! Let's go, baby. Alright, we got more sprout moles. More s <laughs> bird sprout mole. Squawk? Sprout mole and a dr washer or dryer? What the hell? Uh, shoot, I didn't mean to. Oh, cool. Oh, they all, they all, 
They all threw away- they all threw away their gifts from me. What the fuck? I don't- I just kept pressing the A button. I was just like, you know what, these guys aren't interesting at all. Let me just keep on going. But no! Embodies the spirit of spring. Juice plus 10? Holy! I don't know about that. I wish it kind of had more, but juice plus 10 is still a, good, a fair bit. I don't even like spring. I like fall better. Spring sucks. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're gonna try your best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Gotta appreciate Floating Mirror first. Thank you very much. I love me and my friends. Uh, treadmills? Are we supposed to get on the treadmills? Oh. Would you look at that? Uh, let's plug this back in. Uh, there we go. There's the generator. It's back up. What did I say, moles? Hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Alright, let's let's get a little sweat up. Alright, let's go, baby. I like how me and Aubrey are at a leisure pace. Fucking Kel is booking it as usual. And <laughs> Hero Hero can't take it. He can't take it. Don't worry, Hero. I'm kinda with you there. I'm i I'm still trying to build up stamina on the treadmill. But one of these days I will be laughing at you because I I can do it better, but that day is not today. Maybe not tomorrow either, but one day. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so why don't I just celebrate Christmas all the time? Oh buddy, if it, was, if it was only that easy. Do you want to cut the Christmas tree? No! I'm so sorry. It's even- it's even fire outside, no! Christmas is ruined! What have I done? Oh, I feel actually really bad now. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. May I interest you in some tofu, Mayor? I heard that tofu is a big thing here in Sprout Mall Village. Alright, eventually I'm gonna have to find a library around here somewhere, right? Uh, sure, let me cut the wire. Cool! Don't know what that did, but that looked like a big scary guy! Lava lamp! Can I take it? I am working on revolutionary technology that would change all life in the colony. Nay, the world! Iga! Careful, child! It could ruin an incredibly delicate concoction! If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy the entire village! Uh... What about this? I can, I can fuck around with this, but I can't fuck around with this. Huh? Yeah, no. I almost kinda wa I almost kinda wish Kel was able to like throw his fucking ball into that. See what would happen. A loser! Loser! Orange juice. Combo meal. Life jam! Loser! Wish I could kick him in the mouth. He fucking deserved it. I don't even- I don't even know how strong he would have been, but all I just know is that he deserved it. Alright, let's get back to business.